Welcome. I hope you're doing fantastic today. Sorry for the, you know, pitch black scene I've got going on here for, you know, this video. I'm switching around my lighting setup, doing all that kind of stuff. So for a little bit here, my scene's going to be dark. Let's get into talking. Let, good Lord. Let's get to talking about what I've been up to lately and why I haven't been posting videos. It's because I have been over here working on this nice NixOS documentation uh, for my flake, which the link to this will be down in the description below. This is my system's configuration that I'm running right now. I've tried to make sure the documentation for it is at least decent. We're going to move uh, eventually on to improving it some more, but we kind of explain what, or I kind of explain what NixOS he is here, how, why you might choose it, um, why choose my configuration. And then I do some explaining of my flake and then I've got steps to reproduce it so that you can, you know, copy my system to yours. So if you're looking for a Wayland Hyperland NixOS, experience or you want to try out NixOS and you like Hyperland, then my flake might just be the place for you to start as the whole entire design of my flake is to try to make onboarding onto NixOS using my configuration as a base. Very simple. And my configuration, I've put a lot of effort into making sure you don't have to go off and change a ton of stuff anyway so if i make this full screen here and we'll go ahead and zoom in just to make it a little bit more readable you can see i've actually this is inside of the home.nix so for home manager i've got you know variables being passed in here for username the theme um, get username get email so i'm what i'm trying to do is make it as simple as possible for you. You clone my repo, which is any OS here, I'm inside of the repo, and you can go inside of the flake.nix here, and inside of this, there is a section in the outputs, in this let here, for user variables. So you can go in, set your host name, username, all, all that kind of stuff. I have, uh, I'm working on different styles for Waybar, uh, theme, like all of this stuff. Uh, you have a wallpapers git, which will put it in whatever wallpapers directory you want. Um, you know, I've got a wallpaper changer script. It's going to look in this location. So, uh, or, you know, in based off this variable, it's going to look in that location. And yeah, then I also have CPU type and GPU type down here. So this is a work in progress right now. AMD, like both AMDs work. Um, past that, I'm not too sure. We've got to do a lot more hardware testing. And thankfully, there's quite a few guys in my Discord who is helping. So if you have, you know, an Intel CPU, NVIDIA GPU, whatever, if if it's not working and you're having problems and there's options that you need to add or set or anything like that and you want to help, then please pop on over to the Discord. Help, help me improve it and make it work better for you and for other people. So... This right here is definitely a work in progress, as well as the VM. The VM kind of is working, but I probably need to do more there. So you could put VM, VM here if you want to run it inside of a VM. Just know Hyperland inside of a VM isn't going to be spectacular anyway. Hyperland doesn't really like VMs. Uh, Wayland in general can kind of be iffy on, on VMs, but... Just, just keep that in mind. Uh, the VM experience might not be the best best way of trying out uh, my configuration. Just just saying, but it should work. Oh. So I've got a lot of other features like that I've kind of built out with my configuration to hopefully try to make it to where people don't necessarily have to go and change. Like if you like Hyperland, but you want to change the theme, uh, I've got a theme selector script up here that's actually pretty easy. You can just go through, select a theme. It will change the variable inside of the flake.nix, and then it will rebuild the system and your new theme will apply. Uh, I'm Now this will change the theme inside of GTK apps, QT apps, all of that stuff. So keep that in mind that that may or may not be something that 
you know, you're interested in, but I, I, I do have a really nice theming script. I worked quite a bit on that. The wallpaper setter, uh, it changes through your wallpaper directory and uses different transitions to change the wallpaper. So all of, all of that kind of stuff is already there working and built out for you. So yeah, this is my flake. I am currently working on it. The steps to reproduce it shouldn't be too, too much. Um, I guess a good reason I'm making this video is for one, to let you guys know that's, this is what I've been working on. And also if, if you are interested in running Nix OS or trying it out, you have different hardware than I do, or you look at my flake and you might want to improve something or do anything like that. Please let me know. Please come on over to the discord, help out. Um, we've got quite, again, quite a few people who are helping out you know, fix up things and change hardware specific settings. So it's, it's nice. And hopefully if you want to help improve it, it'll get even better for other people before too long. And before I continue on with the rest of the video, I did kind of just want to take a second here to say everything that I do here, all of my content is supported by you guys. I am currently working on making a new kind of Patreon, like thanks, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. So uh, because of the last designs I've been using, I think could be better and just look better and be more readable. So instead of doing that right now, and since I'm still working on it, I just want to take a second to say thank you for all the people who go over and above and support me over on Patreon and through the memberships here on YouTube. Thank you guys. It means a lot. It, it really and truly does. I cannot say thank you enough. So for Dark Zero, Russell, Nate, uh, Forlorn Idealist, Zach, TGB, Papa Smurf, and Matt from the Linux cast. Thank all of you guys for supporting me. It does mean a lot. And now let's get back to it just so I can go ahead and explain kind of how my flake differs from a lot of others. If I go in here and open up the flake.nix file, you'll see I only have one Nix OS configuration. One, it's a, it's a large one, but because there's a crap ton of variables being passed into different places where they're needed uh, or both places, but we've got our home manager module and then the actual system, you know, Nix. So here, kind of the way it works is instead of like having different configurations based off of a specific system with different hardware, what I want to do is have the same configuration. So all you would have to do is always come in here in the flake, set these variables to what you want them to be, and then uh, define your CPU type and GPU type. And that will enable through like if and else statements or whatever that will that will actually change hardware settings based off of, you know, what you have in here. So it kind of makes it to where it theoretically, the idea behind what I'm doing here is it should make things easier for you. If you want to reproduce this system on completely different hardware, you don't have to go in and manually change a whole bunch of settings for that other piece of hardware. You don't have to have a totally separate, like duplicate system like file or like dot Nix or whatever for that configuration. I simply have it pull in different, uh, it sources a whole bunch of different files and some files have if statements in them. Like let's say it's Intel specific, just for example, Intel specific OpenGL settings. Then there's going to be that Intel OpenGL and it's going to have an if statement. If uh, GPU type is Intel, then boom, it's going to set those configurations. There's going to be another one, AMD OpenGL. Uh, that one's going to have an if statement, you know, like kind of like that. Um, not everything's going to have an if statement, but certain hardware specific settings or sections will. And I think that kind of makes it easier for, for things to work. I don't know. Maybe you've got a different opinion, share it. Uh, thank you guys for watching this. If you've got anything that you want to add to what I've said so far, or, you know, the configuration, got any more extra questions, there's a comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video on your way out, hit the like button and, uh, you know, consider subscribing to the channel. I, I do post videos when I'm not distracted working on this stuff all the time. So hopefully I'll see more of you and 
hopefully you'll see more of me here before too long. Hope you guys have a good one. Bye-bye.